right, let's see what the damage is. Uh-oh. I would say I'm in deep Okay, Thunderbird Rescue is here. All right, we have a big problem. The remote for his winch, the battery has gone flat. It looks like we've lost four wheel drive and maybe broken the CV joint on the van. Without four wheel drive though, this is never gonna get out. Welcome back everybody to another camping with Tony, maybe camping. We're currently at 1500 meters, which is, I don't know, what is that? Seven and a half, 8,000 feet. Uh, can't be that much. 6,000 feet. <laughs> we are on a road trip and I'm gonna get a diesel heater fitted to the van, the camper van buddy, my 1996 Isuzu L four wheel drive camper van. It's got gas central heating right now. We're gonna get, so butane, uh, we're gonna get diesel heating fitted. To get all the way there to where it's gotta be fitted, I had to drive past one of my favorite spots, which we affectionately have called Mars, because it's brutal up here. So we're now at 1500 meters. We've got to climb to 1700 meters. We're in the clouds. The forecast is, I don't know, because it keeps changing. So we could get any, anything tonight. We could get ice, snow, could get nothing at all, just rain and cold. So I'll bring you back when we get to where we're gonna park up, different spot to last time, in case you saw my RV blizzard video. Uh, I don't think we were expecting anything like that at all. Uh, that was a complete random event. So we're gonna camp a little tiny bit lower on a ridge where, where the conditions should be ultra brutal as another test for Buddy the camper van. Bring you back when we parked up. has got hot or I need to go into low range so I'm going to lock the diff put it into neutral pop it into low range and let's try and get out of here <laughs> we seem to have bogged down stuck here hmm right I've got to go outside and see what's going on right let's see what the damage is uh oh I would say I'm in deep yep yeah, that's really really bad I have driven onto completely sunken ground and buried myself Okay, I'm in serious trouble now. I might have to call for help because there's no way I'm getting out of that in a hurry, unless, and I haven't got a shovel with me this time, so I could be in big trouble here because I'm just gonna keep sinking if I go down that way. Okay, I need help. Right, I'm gonna call emergency services and I'll come back to you. All right, sit rep, I am stuck. <laughs> First time ever. So what happened is, I turned to do a U-turn to go and park over there and I've driven straight onto basically bog. The one little patch here. Now, if I was in my truck, no problem. I wouldn't have even noticed. It would have sailed straight over it.
But in this, because they're so narrow, the tires, no chance. So I'm completely bogged. There's no point in me trying to even get out. I am wedged. So um, I'm not that far from people I know. I've said to them, it's not a big deal. Come and get me in the morning if you can. So they're going to come up in the morning uh, with their big four-wheel drive. They've got a winch and stuff like that. Uh, they're going to park up and they will tow me out. Uh, but I was going to stop right just here anyway. Literally five meters back there. I should have just stopped when I thought it. Oh, crazy. And the weather is coming in. It's snowing outside. And I'm on this soft, disgusting ground. Well, is what it is. At least I'm level. <laughs> I, could have, I could have been all wonky, which would have been even worse. And I'm facing the right way. Oh... Well, you know what? Let's get the heating on. Uh, we'll just chill out. I've got to call the wife. I'll get the Starlink set up and I'll bring you back when I've settled down. Oh, okay, I've got all the heating on. <laughs> oh, it had to happen eventually, didn't it? I've put the heating on, the hot water on, the fridge is on, all good. So uh, let's go and have... Oh, I've just turned the power off. That was silly. Mm, I just caught the power switch with my foot. Hold on. Oh, I'm doing it all now. Okay, we're good. We're back and running. Sorry about that. <laughs> Look at this. What a silly place. Look, there's the power switch. And I caught it going out. Crazy. All right, so let's have a look outside. It's not that bad on this side of the van. It's calm, it's lovely. And look, look around. Got snow. And then you can see where I'm bogged in. Look at that. I didn't want to keep digging it in. Even if I'd had my shovel with me, which I've forgotten, I couldn't dig that out because it's so soft in front and behind. Look at that. Look at that. It's just nothing. Whereas, so you can see where I came in. I just gradually got more and more sinky. Only just, like this is solid here. Right here is solid. I just turned into a soft spill. All of this is solid, look. You see the tracks of people? All I did was follow other people's tracks. This is solid ground here. Just there is a peat bog. So what I wanted to do, <laughs> what I was planning to do was do a U-turn here and then reverse and park up in here. But to be honest, this is also boggy. Look, look at that serves me right what i should have done is got out of the truck off the road walked over here and checked it all out first by foot i'm so used to my truck that can drive over all this stuff it's very very wide wheelbase very fat tires it can drive on sand very powerful not used to the really skinny tires on this camper van so just didn't predict it would sink like this i just followed other look you can see it's because there's been so much rain. Look, it even bogged in on the track here. Look at that, it's dug down. It's just a mess. Whereas the road is thick. But it's okay. That's not a bad spot to be. I'm parked at actually not a bad angle. It's just hope the wind doesn't blow my uh, gas out, which it shouldn't because it's on the other side. But I am bogged down. <laughs> that rear wheel is so far down. Oh, there was no way I was getting that out. All right, so they're going to come and rescue me in the morning. I said, don't bother coming tonight. I was going to be here all night anyway. I've got everything I need. I can stay here for, with the amount of food I've got in there and gas supply and everything. Yeah, I can stay a long time. So... I could be here three, four days, no problem. But I'm so close to town. I've just climbed up, that's all. So even my wife could drive up here in my truck and then I could rescue myself. I could pull it out if I had to. But they're going to come and get me in the morning anyway. So that's that. We're parked up. I've got the Starlink Mini running. That's cranking. I've got full signal now because of that. Uh, I had one bar, so it just goes to show this is why I travel with Starlink. Let's get the... Uh, whew, it's quite nippy out there. Okay, I need to get the thermometer installed. What I need to do is find where I've put the thermometer. I haven't got a clue, honestly. 
I don't know where anything is. I'm completely discombobulated. And then I'll bring you all back. Ah. Uh, all right. <laughs> so, let's just go over uh, lessons from what's just happened. Uh, number one lesson. Get out of the van and check the ground that you want to go and drive onto if it's off-road. Just do it. That's number one lesson. Now, there's going to be so many experts on here going, You idiot! You dumbass! You should blah 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 blah! Listen, 99% of those people that will make those comments have never done anything like this in their lives. They've just watched a lot of YouTube, okay? So, I will ignore pretty much all those comments. Everyone's a rookie at this at first. Everybody starts somewhere, okay? Everybody does. So when you first do something, people will criticize you like crazy when you screw up. Just like I've screwed up. I've driven up here a few times now, never had a problem. Just drove off slightly that spot and boom, gone. Um, but I stopped. When I realized I was digging in, I just stopped and didn't try anymore because I knew I was going to be on the floor. Nothing would have got me out of here, really, even... I've got chains. But all I would have done was dug a hole. And, uh, yeah, you can carry so much equipment, but at what point do you just stop? So I knew wherever I go in the van, I've always got my Starlink Mini with me, always. And I've got my EPIRB, my emergency location beacon that I can text from as well, which is a satellite communicator. I've always got loads of food, loads of gas. I've got two full gas bottles for this thing, uh, butane. I've got two massive power banks sitting right here. These are huge, these EcoFlow Deltas. So I've got everything I need. I've got food, I've got tons of water, a few hundred liters of water. So my lessons from this really are just get out of the van. Stop at the road, walk, check the terrain, and see if you can drive onto it. If I had walked onto this, I'd have known there's no way I could have driven onto it. I would have gone, no, and I'd have just pulled off the side of the road there and it would all been good. So as it is, I'm stuck here now. I'm level, which is great, very handy. Uh, and we're okay, we're fine. There's nothing to panic about. I got hold of someone eventually, and uh, yeah, not a big deal. If, if all else had failed, I would have got Anne, my wife, to get my truck, Get a friend, because she would have been nervous driving up here. Get a friend uh, that I know to drive it up here, my truck, and then I would have towed this out with my truck because my truck's got a winch, it's got everything. It's set up for full recovery. It's got recovery blocks on the back, it's got straps, everything in there. So I've defeated Buddy. <laughs> I think I'd have defeated anything, to be honest, that wasn't a full off-roader with big fat tires on this ground. So that's my only lesson is really get out of the vehicle. Everything else I was prepared. So if you're gonna do this sort of stuff, have communications, definitely have communication, definitely have enough fuel to last for ages. I've got a full tank of diesel as well. Um, so I've got multiple heat sources because I could just start the engine up if I ran out of gas or if anything else happened. Uh, I do have an electric fan as well as a backup to run these. And I've got a solar panel that keeps the battery charged up as well. Although that's going to get covered in snow probably tonight. Right, everyone, let's go outside and check what the temperature is. I can't imagine it's that cold. And then uh, I will just chill out for a bit and bring you back for dinner. Because this is going to be a five-day, six-day road trip. Got a lot to cover, a lot to go to, so I don't want to just occupy it all being here tonight. So let's just check what the temperature is outside. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see, the temperature is, oh, it's just above zero. Just. Okay. Yeah. Not that cold, but it will get cold tonight. And I think by the morning, it's meant to get down to something like minus 10 centigrade. Not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. You can Google it. Okay, everyone, bring you back later for dinner. Right, welcome back, everybody. It is dinner time. Um... I'm starving. I've got for dinner, we're gonna do very quick and easy. I was gonna do a steak, but actually I've got one of these pre-cooked meals again. 
because I'm still on my carnivore diet. Um, this is a slow cooked Wagyu beef cheek from First Light Farms in New Zealand, which is where I am. Should be pretty simple to do. You can do this boil in the bag, believe it or not. But I don't think it's a very efficient use of gas. Better off just heating that entire pack in the pan and then we're all good. There's nothing to it. What I'll do is get this thing cranking, bring you all back for dinner when we have it. And then I think what we'll do is maybe go for a little wonder. Just see what the conditions are like outside. It's dark now, pitch black out there. So I won't go far because why risk it? Especially at night time, anything could happen. I'm safe in here, but I just wanted to show you outside. And also I wanted to inevitably have um, a cigar. So I'll definitely after dinner be having a cigar. Oh, cut myself somehow. Oh, that smells good straight away. Wow. That smells amazing. So look, these, these meals, they're so easy. I, I could sit there and create and make a meal every single night like Mav does. But honestly, life's too short for that. I can't be bothered. I will show you this thing though, bubbling when it's ready. It's not cheating. It's just being lazy. <laughs> and sometimes it's good to be lazy. Okay, that's cooking. I'm gonna put the fan on and we're good. Bring you back for, to look at when it's done. Okay, grubs up. Uh, when you stand up at the back here, because the heating is here, it's boiling. But I've got a fan that blows everything away. Okay. Heat off. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, if I wasn't on carnivore diet, I'd have this with rice or potato. Roast potato. Oh, I miss potatoes. These stone type Sauce frying pan, stone effect. I don't know what they call it. They're superb. All right. It doesn't actually look that appetizing. I'm gonna show it to you, but it doesn't look great. <laughs> that doesn't look great, but that is beautiful juices, gravy, and Wagyu beef. All right, let's eat. Ah. Now, I've just noticed the door is icing up. So we're definitely gonna go and have a look outside <laughs> after dinner. And I do want a cigar, so we'll hopefully we'll be able to smoke out there. I don't know what the conditions are like. I haven't had a look outside at all, because what can I do about it? Nothing, I can't even move. I can't even turn the van around, even if the wind is coming in the wrong direction. Bon appétit, everybody. Oh, but delicious. Mm. Oh, it's like having a stew. Oh, it just melts. The sauce is superb. Make yourself a Wagyu stew. Wagyu beef cheek. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Bring you back and go outside. All right, everybody, it's time to go outside. Now, about half an hour ago, it was absolutely howling outside. It sounds like it's died right down, but then it's gonna kick off again while I'm in bed asleep. 
we've just got a bit of a lull. I looked on the radar. So let's go out. Let's just check out what's going on outside. I'm fully wrapped up. I've got my rain pants on, gum boots, everything. Got my keys on me. Got my phone with me. And last time you remember, I opened the door, or I tried to open the door and it wouldn't open. So we will make sure that doesn't happen this time because I've got a, I fitted a handle to it. But also, uh, just to wedge it open, I've got a scraper. So this ice scraper, if I have to, will help me get in. And then the other thing I've got, just in case, because you don't want to get stuck outside in these conditions in the middle of the night. You'd be in serious trouble. The other thing I've got up here uh, is a can of de-icer. I'm going to take that out and put it down by the door um, along with... Oh no, that's it. Just that. That's all I need. All right, let's go check it out. Let's see if the door is frozen. Yep, the door is frozen. Okay. Uh. Oh, the Starlink's covered. Oh, it's calm now. So the Starlink is getting covered. We're on the leeward side. So what I need to do is... So tiny. Mini. All right, I want to put my can of antifreeze just here. Oh, let's have a look. See what the uh, see what's going on. We've got some tiny icicles coming. Oh yeah. Oh, I can see the moon. But that's going to change later. So what's going on up the top here? Oh yeah. Okay, that's frozen. The wind is coming from the other side, so I'm assuming the other side is taking most of the battering. Let's crank this light up a bit so you can see. Oh, it's nice now. It was ripping through not half an hour ago. So my tracks are all covered. Look at that. Lots of uh, ice build up. Oh yeah, that's frozen. <laughs> ice skills. It's doing well though. I mean, this has been through way worse as, as most of you will have seen before. Ice skulls starting to form, but nothing so bad. Yeah, it's doing a good job. Not bad at all. Oh, I might put my wipers out just so I can break any ice off if it comes on. Nice. Oh, let's see what temp the temperature is. Doesn't feel that bad. Oh, it's minus minus two. I think that says. Okay. Oh, look, my rubber seal has come out. Okay, I need to fix this into place. Wonder why that's happened. Okay, there we go. That'll do it. That's why it was difficult to close earlier. And you see now, I won't have this problem anymore. I've got a handle. Before I had to pull here, it wasn't enough to get a grip off, so I've got this handle. It works really well. So minus two, I think it's meant to get down to almost minus 10 tonight by the morning oh that wind is biting but yeah even if the wind direction changes which i think it is doing a bit there's not much i can do about it because i'm stuck <laughs> 
what I really need is for the ground to freeze over. If the ground would freeze, then I could probably drive out, it would be hard enough. But they're going to come and get me in the morning anyway. Look at the clearance, I'm right down. This is going to be difficult to pull out. It's going to have to park up there with this four wheel drive and winch me. And there's a winch point here, which is good. Uh, for pulling itself out and pulling other people out. I'm not sure if there's a winch point on the back. Don't think there is. No. No, there's nothing on the back. Right. Well, that's enough of that. Oh, let's just go and check out the road. See what state that's in. always freezes to ice. Yep, there you go. Ice. That wasn't there before. Look at that. Okay. There's the van. This would have been a nice spot just here. But as it is, we're gonna get a nice view in the morning, hopefully of the mountains. I can actually see them. You won't be able to see them. I can just see them glowing in the background. White mountains. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so pleased with this van. I know I got it stuck, but that was all me. Operator error. Oh well, we'll see what this looks like in the morning. I got a feeling it won't be so bad. Oh, can't feel my hands. Okay, let's get in. Wind chill is quite bad. Oh, it's a shame you can't see those mountains. I think you might just be able to see something here. The white of the mountains in the background. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, let's check the Starlink. It says it's heating. Oh, it's very slow. Let's just clear it off, help it out. There we go. Okay, enough of that. Oh. oh man. That was cold. Okay, let's lock these tight. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Chilly, but not as bad as it was earlier. You could see that ice that had formed and I think the gusts of wind then were about 40 kilometers an hour. So by the morning, overnight, they're gonna pick up. So in the morning, the gusts are meant to be closer to 70 kilometers an hour. Now I had all my blinds closed uh, because I wanted to be able to see where the truck was in case it got separated from it. Uh, anyway, I've got to do this myself. All right, <laughs> I'll bring you back for bedtime. By the way, I didn't do a cigar. It's so cold out there, there's no way I'm doing a cigar out there. Because I'd have to set my chair up, and even if I was going for a walk with a cigar. Oh, just like that, the wind picks up. Um, there's just no point tonight. We'll save that for tomorrow night. All right, everyone, bring you back at bedtime. All right, bedtime. So, here's my coffin, I mean my bed. <laughs> now, I did think I was going to have to sleep up my head up that end just because we're only slightly this way but I should be fine um, so getting in here is quite a mission <laughs> which I'll show you so I have to stand on here it's not the biggest of spaces but once you're in it's fine it's just getting in that's the tricky bit oh okay 
Whew, cold bed. <sighs> there we go. So this Zen Bivy double quilt that I've got here is good down to 32 Fahrenheit, two degrees Celsius centigrade, so they say. I don't believe that at all. So I've got a whole extra duvet on top. Right, let me get organized, I'll bring you back. Ah, and there we go, coffin corner. <laughs> I've got my curtains closed because I've got the heating on the bare minimum it will do the absolute coldest well lowest temperature it will do even that's too much for me I can't sleep with heating on but I know that it's gonna get down to minus eight something like that tonight so I need to uh, keep the heating going just for safety just to make sure nothing freezes up in there the water or anything else because that's not insulated so by keeping the heating on everything will be fine um, so by closing these curtains it's just it's gonna get cold up here yeah which suits me just fine I'm on a foam Zenbivy foam pad and I'm on top of the mattress pad that comes with the van as well, so I'm cooking already. Right, I can hear the wind has really picked up again outside. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what time this guy is coming tomorrow morning, but it's going to be early. That's what he said. So we'll be up early, coffee, get everything packed away ready because it's going to be bumpy. All I need him to do is get me out onto the road. Uh, after that, I can still stick around and have breakfast if necessary or just chill. All right, everyone. So unless something major happens in the middle of the night, bring you back in the morning. Good night, everybody. Morning, everybody. Well, oh, it's cold. I had the heating on one for a while, like on the lowest setting, but it was still too warm for me. So I turned it off and just hunkered down under my layers. It's so toasty in here. Oh, that's lovely. I'm glad I've got two full, full quilts in. I could do with probably one more, actually. I haven't got any socks on, so my feet get past the end occasionally and get a little bit chilly, but they're warm now. Oh, my hand's cold just holding the camera. <sighs> okay, I need to get up. It's 6 a.m. I don't know what time this guy's coming. Dan. Dan the Rescue Man. Thunderbird 2. It is howling out there. I don't know if you can hear it. Hang on. Let me open this vent up here. See if you can hear the wind. It's been ripping out there. I don't think the camera does it any justice. I don't think it snowed. I haven't heard, well, I haven't heard anything. I haven't looked out. So let's get up, get that heating cranking because it's cold in there. See what the temperature is outside. See what's going on outside. I mean, I'm hoping the ground is frozen up quite a bit because then that will help pull us out. Right, first of all, I've got to get up and get the heating on. Oh, oh it's cold, the floor is freezing. I've got these little booties, my down booties. Oh, it's all so cold. I wouldn't be surprised if it's just above zero in here. I've never felt it this cold in here before. Oh, okay, heating on. Yes, Let's crank that up. Might hear a big chunk of ice bang on the roof. Let's have a look out, see what we're dealing with. Oh, wow. It's spectacular. 
<laughs> Look at this. Let me turn this light off so you can see out. Oh. It's lovely. Just freezing. Ah, snowed a little tiny bit, I'd say. Not much. Oh, but man, it's cold. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed, bring you all back. Oh, that's better. Okay. Um, <laughs> gosh, I need a hot drink. The heating is cranking. It's just gonna take a little while to get the heat hot. Let's have a look in the cabin. See how frozen everything is in here. This thermal blanket that I got seems to do a really great job of insulating between the two cabins. Now I've got a thermometer in here actually. Let's have a look. It is. Oh, wow. <laughs> in my camera bag. Uh oh. I don't know if you can make that out, but it's zero. Interesting. Zero in the camera bag. <laughs> but it is beautiful out. It's, oh no, there's weather coming in. <laughs> All right, let's have a quick look outside before he comes and just see what we're dealing with, how frozen it is out there. Uh, this is gonna be a jacket on event, I think. <laughs> I'm wearing everything I've got. Okay, I've got my keys, I've got my phone, and I've got my ice scraper in here. So, let's go outside, check out what the temperature is. I can't imagine it's overly cold. Uh, door's frozen. Yeah. Oh, oops. Oh, it's crisp, it's lovely. Ah, oh, look, bit of sun. That sunrise. <sighs> Buddy, you got icicles. See what I mean when I call this place Mars? Minus five, minus six. Whew, okay, Starlink's done a great job. Look at that. Completely clear. All the ice is melted off. Nothing like the ice storm that I had last time I was here. I mean, it is frozen, <laughs> but not so bad. So my toilet, my toilet is here, in there. This is uh, access to the shower room, the bathroom, so you can have a shower outside, you can bring the shower out. But it's all insulated, very thick insulation. All the windows, double glazed, very thick. Up there in the bedroom, it's double glazed. That's why it's frozen, even with the heating on. Only the cabin isn't. So when I know he's on the way, I'll probably start the engine and get this thing warmed up. Probably put these on now. It's a great truck. It really is. It's a great camper van. It, there's, the Japanese did a phenomenal job building this thing. That's all my error. Driving into a, a boggy mess. I wonder if Max Tracks would have helped me. Uh, yeah, if I'd had a shovel as well, I could have shoveled it all out and maybe used Max Tracks to get back the way I was going, uh, back the way I came, uh, but not go forward. It would have been a lot of work, probably three, four hours of work to do it. I mean, he's not going to be able to tow me backwards, as I said. There's no hook on the back. Uh, 
front so we've got to work out a plan of where he's going to go I mean he's an off-road guy he knows but I'll tell you something I've noticed the ground is not squidgy anymore it has frozen solid the ground you know look at that it's frozen solid I wonder I wonder if there's a way I could drive this out now because it's so frozen I wonder if it's worth trying to back up I just don't think there's much clearance I'm sort of sitting on the ground no what's the point he's coming up there's no point I might damage the undercarriage by doing it he'll come up it's good that it's frozen he'll probably drive up onto here this high bit here because this is rock here all rock so if he can clamber up to here get the winch tied on oh it's starting to snow look at my view oh, yeah it's snowing awesome oh, look there's the sea camera's not doing it justice but that's the sea over there not the sky all the way in the distance let's see all right here comes the snow it's freezing out here and I've only got jeans on so I'm feeling up my legs my body is fine this this jacket's good down to minus 30 my beanie is is very hot it's a waterproof beanie and my hands are fine just my legs and feet okay one last look at the sun hitting that hill there because I think once this goes we've lost it and we won't be getting the sun back majestic absolutely beautiful what a place to be stranded and cut off that's the uh dish all the uh, communications equipment up there okay let's get back in get a coffee on right I just got a message from Dan Thunderbird 4 we'll call him Thunderbird 2 <laughs> oh it is snowing quite a bit now um, he is on his way awesome we'll be out of here no problem now I think it'll take him probably an hour to get here um, maybe a little bit less so we've got time to chill have a coffee and then tidy up pack everything away because um, everything's gonna get jolted when we get towed out of here it's not gonna be pretty so yeah it's gonna be an hour so let's have a coffee It's lovely having three windows well four because they've got the front as well so you can see all sides of the van I'm I'm looking directly I'll show you in a sec hold on I'm looking directly at the road so I'll see Dan as he comes in here because the roads behind me you need to fix this piezo so check it out so if I look from here, that's the road right there. I'm so close to it. Look, there's my tracks. Oh man. <laughs> right, coffee time. It's only a few minutes later. I'm still waiting for my coffee, my water to boil. And it is really coming down out there. Let me, uh, let me show you what's going on out here. Uh, Look at that. I don't even know if you can make out the snow. It's sort of like a blizzard because it's coming in sideways. 
Maybe if I stand here, you'll see. Look at that. It's fast. It's just coming in completely sideways. So it's going to pancake. <laughs> it's going to pancake the side of the, the van here. But luckily, it's really, really dry snow. But yeah, it's coming down. It's beautiful. Beautiful and freezing. Oh, why did I come out to film this? Quick, get back in. Oh. 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 oh, now I'm covered in snow. Awesome. Which is all gonna melt. Good job, Tony, well done. Right, come on, I need this coffee. All right, so we're gonna have epic coffee, off-the-road roast. Drip coffee, so what you do is, I've got the little, little thing in here, the bag, like that, it's an all-in-one unit with the coffee in. Coffee smells respectable. So you just keep topping this bag up. It's not a quick process. And then that drips in the cup. Oh, it'll take me a couple of minutes to do this. <laughs> oh, need my cup of coffee. Oh, it's getting nice and warm in here, toasty. Oh, soon I'll get too hot. Oh, let me bring you closer. <laughs> this is one thing after another. There we go. So, He's on his way, Dan, which is great. I'm looking out at the road. Here we go. You can see uh, the snow is coming down. Let me see if I can open this. That locks it. Mm. Maybe it's frozen solid. I was going to try and open the window just to, but I don't know how you open these. I don't want to break it. No, I think it's actually frozen. <laughs> it's frozen shut. Yeah. Oh well. I was going to show you outside, but you get the gist. It's snowing. It's a whiteout. It is really a whiteout out there now with a blizzardy sort of fog. So I've managed to get stranded twice in a few videos in two in two videos i've managed to get stranded twice now my number one lesson for this is definitely um yeah definitely walk off the road and check the area you're driving onto i didn't know as i said last night everyone does something for the first time okay there's only so much you can have experience of if you're doing this stuff by yourself so that's all it is don't let anyone mock you if this happens to you. Apparently, I mean, I've seen this happen so many times on YouTube where people get their cars or their camper vans stuck and they have to be rescued. Um, the other lesson is always, always have gear to survive. Not just survive, but thrive. If you came up here in a car to check the area out and did this and it got stuck, you would then need to be rescued probably that night uh, for me no big deal i could live in here for days it's not a, not a problem cheers everybody oh. but if you came up here in a car well you could freeze to death <laughs> you'd have to walk back it's a long road a really really long road and there is no signal no phone signal that's another lesson. Always have a communication device with you. It's nice to cut yourself off from the world, but to be honest, in a hits the fan situation, you, you need to make contact. So I'm glad I've got my Starlink with me and I've got plenty of power. I've got these power units. I've got gas, I've got diesel. I could start the engine up. Oh, we need to start the engine up. <laughs> I need to heat the engine up before he gets here. Um, yeah, any other lessons? Um, winter gear, have full gear for all conditions. Someone said to me, uh, Max Tracks would have helped. 
So I have Max tracks. Uh, they're in the lockup. I use them for my truck. Uh, not for this. The trouble with this van is there's no storage. There's hardly any storage room. So if I have Max tracks, and if you don't know what Max tracks are, they're usually they're orange and they're plastic, sort of reinforced plastic things with spikes on uh, that give you a platform to drive out of conditions like this. So I would need four of those, not two. They're heavy as well. I would definitely have needed a shovel. I don't know why I didn't bring my snow shovel with me on this trip. It just, it just didn't occur to me. I just forgot to put it in the front. Um, I've got chains, but no shovel. Again, you forget things. I, I probably need a checklist on the front of the van, which I'll do next time. Again, this is all learning. This is what you do. Max tracks might have helped. It would have been hours of work if I could have backed up out of here. Uh, anyone who's ever seen anyone trying to dig people out of something and put Max tracks down, it's a real faff. A real faff. I just hope this guy's going to be able to pull me out from the front here. I think so. I think if he parks up here somewhere, gets his winch going, I reckon I could uh, drive out of here because the ground is now so frozen that uh, it just gives a much better platform. Right, so basically, I'm going to have this coffee, maybe have another one. And then by that time, he'll almost be here and I'll start the engine up, pack everything away, get it all set up to get off the hill. And I'll go down the hill with him because uh, I don't fancy being up here any longer, especially if there's a blizzard kicking in, which it looks like it is now. And I've got to get to where this place, this van needs to get serviced, which is a few hours drive uh, down in Cheviot. So I do need to get a move on at some point. All right, I'll have one more coffee. Bring back, we'll start the engine up, hopefully. And then it's Thunderbird Rescue. Right, I've just made another coffee, but I think what we'll do is, we'll just start the engine. Because he's not gonna be too far away now. Maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. To, oh, ah, gross. Wow, a lot of snow has fallen. <laughs> oh, that's quite a lot. Check it out. Look, even the Starlink is covered now. <laughs> yeah. Look at that layer of ice. Okay, let's get in. Oh. oh, gross. Okay, so, I don't know if this is gonna need any help starting. Let me just put you there for a sec. Sorry. Okay, there's gonna be a horrible noise. It's gonna be the brake system. It's hydraulic brakes, very powerful brakes, but they need to pressurize. So it makes this noise at the beginning. So you just have to excuse it. Oops. I'm gonna put the heating block on. Almost had it. Come on, heat that coil up. There we go. That noise is horrible. Oh. Basically, it's telling you do not drive. Do not drive yet. Okay. I've got a knob down here that I can turn to increase the revs so it warms up really quickly. Cold start, but she started. I've got a little engine block heater thing that I pushed to help. 
got a lot of battery power, this thing, so it doesn't matter. 24 volt system. I've got a 24 volt jump starter here. Got blocks, got chains, got tools. Everything except to get me out of here. Right, I think I can go back to my coffee now. And just let this engine warm up. Not much else to do. Back out into the fray. I have to put my scraper on this ice here at some point. We'll use my foot. <laughs> that works as well. Oh man, oh, it's grim. Grim, grim, grim. Woo! Oh. <laughs> oh. Now normally I, would, I wouldn't go out there like that. I would have everything with me prepared in case the door op doesn't open because of last time. But it's nowhere near as bad as it was last time. Last time was a full ice blizzard. The whole thing was frozen over. Now it isn't. All right. Oops. Everything's gonna be vibrating now. Okay, I'm gonna have my coffee, let the engine heat up. By the time I've had it, had it, hopefully Dan will be here. And I'll bring you back and we'll film Thunderbird Rescue. Okay, Thunderbird Rescue is here. It is Iron Man 4x4. I am saved. <laughs> Alright, we've got a plan. It's gonna gonna drive around and then we'll hook his winch up to the front of the truck it should all be good man it's cold it's the conditions have got way worse feet are freezing look at this so these guys supplied the winch uh, the bumper everything on my truck Iron Man and these guys are uh, One Stop Auto, they're called, in uh, Blenheim. Legends. And he's, he's an off-roading guy, Dan, and he owns the company. And he's come to my rescue. Here he comes. Check it out. Oh, I wish I had my rig here as well. So the plan is to drive along here, down here, and then hook me up, because this is all rock here. And he's got all his recovery straps are in the back. It's good stuff, Iron Man. I've got the same winch, the same bumper. for rescue. Right, let's go and help Dan. Cool, so what do you reckon? Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying, stay on the rocky bit. Um, if I can reach this far, we'll drag it a wee bit, just see what happens. Okay, how long is, uh, how long straps have you got? Okay. Just see, you see these clumps here are rocks. Yeah, it'd probably be okay. I just thought, just see. Yeah, we don't want to both get bogged. Oh, exactly. <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> Let's hope we don't both get stuck here. Oh, it feels like it's got colder. Let's check, uh, let's check what the wind chill is now. Well, the temperature. Yeah, that's the same, minus six. Ah, so we're hooked onto the front. Now it's just a waiting game. See the rocks, everything.
everything is frozen solid now so it should come out we'll see gloves gloves would have been a good idea oh, so would a beanie rocking the boots you good? Alright, I'm going to jump in and see how this goes. I'm going to leave the camera out here recording. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed it's all okay. Okay, angle is just too tight. It's gonna move. I'm gonna try it from up there. Fingers crossed. Okay, I'm gonna shovel. I'm gonna try and shovel the rear wheels out a bit. See what that does. is frozen solid hard work got to clear it though We have a big problem. <laughs> it's, 
the remote for his winch, the battery has gone flat. And he hasn't got his lead with him to do it manually. Uh, so we've got a problem. Because we really need the winch. That's a major problem. Not sure what we can do about it now. I don't see any way out of here. I mean, my wheels are frozen to the ground as well, and there's no reverse tow loop on this thing. So, I mean, look, I'm completely wedged. Because the ground is still soft underneath. Right come back when we've got a plan. Okay. It looks like we've lost four-wheel drive and maybe broken the CV joint on the van. Not sure yet, but the wheels aren't spinning. <sighs> Christ. Oh, nightmare. Well, we moved, but I think he's going to bog. Don't bog yourself. Yeah, it jumped. No. I just don't want you to bog. Um, the other option is, <laughs> I don't know. Without four wheel drive though, this is never gonna get out. That's the problem, without four wheel drive, it's not helping. All right, sit rep, we're gonna try again. Here he goes. Wow, we're not going anywhere. Come on. Whoa. Oh no, don't, 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 don't bog down. Reverse, uh-oh, we don't want him stuck. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to give it some. Let's try again. Didn't even move. Not even budging, is it? Ah. Oh. It's the winch that's needed. <laughs> yeah, but it just, it just... All right, here we go. We're gonna try and snatch it out. All right. Yes! Okay, we're out. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 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 Shit! <laughs> Damn the man! Fuck! Okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, look at what we were in. Oh my god. Oh, it's so deep. We're out now. Now he's got to get me onto the road. Unbelievable. Oh, oh the conditions. Conditions are brutal, brutal. I mean, this is blizzard. Look at it. Look at it howling. Yeah, good job, man. Oh, right. Oh. Look, we're out and we're up. Great success. All right. I was getting worried there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, we're almost there. So I'm locked in two wheel drive at the moment because I don't know if I've got four wheel drive. Major problem. Dan's just rigging the truck up. Look at it blowing. <laughs> Poor Dan. Nightmare. All right, I'd say this is the worst situation I've been in so far. All right, let's do this. Here we go. We're out. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh. Come on, keep going down. 
Okay, we're out, I'll bring you all back. This is now not a fucking this is full vision. I reckon I'll be okay. I might just follow you out. Do you reckon I'm stuck on two-wheel drive? Get out of here. Ugh. Ugh, stuff's going flying. I'm struggling to stay in his tracks here, but we'll get there. That was rough, guys. That was. Uh, that was really rough. I mean, we could have got someone else up here, but it meant a few more hours of being stuck here, which would not have been fun. Now I'm literally idling all the way. And yeah, I've got to get the four wheel drive fixed. Uh, luckily I don't need it for the rest of this journey. And I did think that this truck needs to go in for an overhaul. Hasn't had a proper service for quite a while. <laughs> all right, everyone. I'm gonna get down the bottom of this hill because I've really got to focus on this driving now because this is full blizzard as you can see. And I don't want to go off the track. I'll bring you back for a recap once I get down on the main road because it's a long, long way down this in these conditions and I need to focus. All right, bring you back everybody. sure if you guys can hear me. Got the camera on the windscreen still. I've had it running this whole time. Sorry about the wind noise. Oh, everything is banging and rattling. Nightmare. I'm having to go very slowly. aren't doing a lot they're frozen I'm trying to defrost them the windscreen for you so you can see out I've got it manually in first gear now I'm just controlling the descent so I don't have to use my brakes
All right, we're down at four, 400, 400 meters. He's gone, Dan's gone, he's gone to work. Um, <laughs> I've parked, I need to go and check what's going on in the back. I need to disconnect the hub, unlock the hubs, because they're just spinning for no point now. If it's a broken CV, probably not doing them any good. So let's uh, let's go check out the damage in the back because <laughs> it's, oh, it's still snowing, as you can see. But boy, is it beautiful! Look, and there's the valley down there. Poor buddy, I broke it. I broke, buddy. I can't believe it. I think I broke the CV joint. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to have it checked out at the truck place. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any other damage. All looks good. Poor thing. It's done a great job though. Come on. It's 1996 this thing. All right, let's see what damage is in here. Oh, let's take the thermometer off. Because I heard stuff come crashing down in here. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, pots and pans where they're not meant to be, my camera where it's not meant to be. Lights. <laughs> Man, it really did go flying. I wasn't exaggerating when I said that. All right, everybody, I think... <laughs> ah, I've got to clean up in here. What a mess. Look, it actually flipped the kettle upside down. That's how much we were jumping around. As the song goes, jump around. I'm lucky this massive pan didn't come out. Right, everybody. What I'm going to do is, I thought I was going to, I thought I was going to make this one long video, but I think because of this and what's happened, I won't. I'm going to make this one video all by itself. And then the rest of the trip, make that a separate video. Oh God, we're cleaning everything up here. It's just, it all went flying, absolutely flying. But everything else seems to be okay. All my cupboards are okay. Yeah. Right, so what we'll do is, I've got to get to where I need to get to, which is Chevy. I've got a long drive. I'm not going to bother trying to fix this thing um, on the way. There's just no point. Um, yeah, no point. I'll get it done there. Get some shoes on. So I will bring you all back for the next trip. The next leg of this journey. Um, it'll be a couple of weeks after this. Hey, just to show you how everything went absolutely flying. The lid for the pan is here. <laughs> that flew from all the way back here, up here bounced and landed over there at the cockpit <laughs> that's crazy absolutely crazy <laughs> it was a big bump up there okay everybody thanks again for coming i'm sorry i'm so discombobulated <laughs> thank you for all of our youtube members subscribers patreon members everyone who's bought merch all our buy me a coffee members thank you so much everyone means the world to us um, you won't see Bernie or Bolly on this video because I'm now heading further south but you will on the next one hopefully when I get home and then you can see them ah that was brutal all right everyone thanks again <laughs> and bring you back next time with Tony from AB Camping. Thanks again, everybody. Well, I forgot to say thanks, Dan, from One Stop Auto in Blenheim. Flipping hero, legend, good lad. But next time, bring the remote lead for the winch. <laughs> Cheers, Dan.